Check one. Check, check. Hey, it's the news. It's the news. What is on every channel all day long, every day is now here too. But this is after news. And after news. That's right. And after news, uh, we say fuck the news. Um, pardon my French. There's London. You can see France from here. Hey, there's your logo news. Hey, Cal, hold up. Okay, Doobie, give me that mic. I told you before the uh, the show was going to start, you're supposed to put F the news on there. And it just says logo. The template is not filled in. What are you guys doing? Um, don't look at me. Uh, Cal, he left early, and then he came back. I don't know what he was doing. If you know what I mean. Did you just do a sniffing sound? What does that mean? Well, you know, he's been stressed out, so I'm not saying he's got a prescription of Xanax. Hold up. What the f- you, you, All you had to do was put an F the news in the logo. And you, you, you guys didn't even do that. Anyways, this is Sterling Silverberry. Uh, here at F the news, we have interns from the local community college. Uh, yeah, so uh, there's a war going on in Russia, and uh, what's that, Doobie? Hey, uh, let's buy go all the mainstream media. Everybody's heard it. We know the, the Biden-Ukraine uh, connection. We know Putin and uh, blah, blah, blah. How about we do this? Uh, I got a new uh, corner here. Take Here, read that. This is Sterling Silverberry, and here at F the News, Doobie the Intern wants to talk about conspiracy theories. You got it. So you want to do a conspiracy theory corner. You got it. Cal, hit the music. Oh, yeah. We're talking conspiracies, baby. Let's break it down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, cut it. This is Doobie's Conspiracy Theory Corner. Um, first, we're going to talk about how the virus was man-made and uh, to supplant Trump because they tried to impeach him with the fake Russia investigation. If you said it back then, you got banned from all the platforms. So um, they went after Trump for the fake Russia ties. Meanwhile, it was actually Hillary Clinton and her posse in her campaign that bought a dossier. They were in cahoots with Russia. So therefore, they tried to use that to spy on the Trump campaign. And actually, they tried to spy on Trump when he was also elected president. They said uh, Trump was working with Russia. He wasn't really doing it. But Obama's DOJ put the uh, trap on Trump, and they uh, investigated him. After a couple years of taxpayer money and a whole bunch of accusations and the media going hog wild about Russia, um, lo and behold, uh, Trump, they had no dirt they could pay, they could find on him. So um, what did they do? I don't know, Doobie. What did they do? Oh, they made a virus, and uh, that was the only way they could get him out of there. Uh, they tried everything to get him out. They impeached him twice. Um, they, they, uh, they tried to turn him down at every turn. Uh, McCain flew from mi- at midnight to try to turn Obamacare down, but they needed Obamacare. See, that was their fail-safe. I'll tell you about that later. Hint, hint. That's what they call a foreshadowing in the, our literary business. Um, yeah, so uh, Bob McCain flew over after uh, brain surgery, voted Obamacare down. Uh, Trump was going to repeal and replace it, but lo and behold, there was a bigger plan in place, and that was called a what? I don't know, Doobie. What was it called? A pandemic. So, uh... You know, Gates, Fauci, all that, uh, CCP, uh, NIH. Doobie, you can't really talk about this right now. This is not... Well, it's no, it's conspiracy theories. It's fun to talk about it because nobody knows if it's true, but this is what's true. This is really happened. So I'm telling you right now. So they made it in the lab. They unleashed an election year. They even practiced and gamed it out. And uh, they told the media what to say. They told Fauci what to say. Everybody had all scripted lines, and they told what the media was going to do, and the economy was going to crash. And they, this was their fail-safe plan, man. They had to get Trump out of there. This was because he was uh, he was influencing politics all across the world. Brexit, and he was speaking up for the people, and all the people were like happy. They liked the Trump and the American way, and they want to be America first, or they want to be Australia first, or they want to be Hong Kong first, or they want to be Thailand first, and they want people to have the power. That's what Trump uh, represented. How uh, they had to get Trump out of there. He wasn't playing by the corrupt establishment games. Therefore, and so on, etc. Blah blah blah. 
They removed Trump via mail-in ballots. Uh, all the whole economy's kind of crashed, and people lost their lives because their businesses were going out of business. They lost their livelihood. People got to wear masks, social distance. They got to get uh, tested at like 7-Eleven. All this stuff's going on, and all the you know why? You gotta ask yourself why? Why did they go through all this trouble to remove the funny guy here with the funny hair? With the funny hair, they uh, got something going on, dude. And Epstein didn't kill himself. That's all I'm saying. So uh, yeah. Uh, Epstein didn't kill himself, and Hillary Clinton's going to run again. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's uh, it's crazy what people can get away with. Back to you, Sterling. So that's that was, wow, I can't believe you just ripped that off in like two minutes. I don't rip nothing off. That's all original thought, man. I've been studying this since 2015 when the guy with the funny hair came down the escalator. It was like the old Simpsons, man. Uh, so back to you, Sterling. What do you got for me? I uh, know that's actually pretty amazing uh, what you just said, uh, but there's a war going on in Russia. Ukraine kind of makes that whole thing look like uh, what? Wag the dog, dude. That's right. So I guess that's uh, that was a pretty good conspiracy corner. Uh, that's so you think that's what's happening and that's what happened in the last few years. Oh, that is exactly what happened. Everybody gets caught up in the unvaccinated and vaccinated. It's all this sidetrack, distraction, division thing. Meanwhile, those in power just getting richer and richer. Uh, they let the people fight amongst themselves, throw them some stupid shit like uh, lockdowns and social distancing, and it's the unvaccinated people's fault, and it's the black, white people's fault, and it's whatever. They want us to fight, and they're just like, da da da. They're dancing. So, hey, this is Doobie's Conspiracy Theory Corner, and this is all my opinion. Thank you. Back to you, Sterling. Yes, those are Doobie's uh, expressed. Uh, he, he does not have the express written consent of the F, the F the New staff. All his opinions are his and his only. I do agree with a lot of that, by the way, but I can't say that publicly. Anywho, uh, this is F the News, and uh, what do you want to say, Doobie? Oh, yeah, fuck the news.